चलिए मेरी वीडियो का मकसद सिर्फ सोसाइटी में गंदगी फैलाने वालों को साफ करना है लिहाजा इस वीडियो को अपने दिल के पेपर पे मत लेना ज्यादा तबियत खराब हो तो किसी अच्छे डॉक्टर के पास जाता है Okay, facts, facts, facts. Not having no money, being broke, being broke is a joke, but ain't nothing funny. Okay, uh, what are your non-sexual turn-ons? Non-sexual stuff that turns me on that's not sexual. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say I would definitely say sense of humor. Okay. Okay. That would turn that turns me on. You gotta make me laugh. I'm like, okay, okay. Facts, facts. Mm. Mm. They say you can, if you make her laugh, you can make her moan, ain't it? Oh, okay. <laughs> they do say that. Okay. What else you got? Okay. Okay. Wow. They say 80% of women aren't even attracted to uh, modern day men. Why do you think that is? They're not attracted yeah, they're not to a, modern day men? They say 80% of women. They say 80% of men are Women are not attracted to eighty percent of men in the world. Body nowadays is really even out for, like, for certain things, right? If you have, like, if you have money and you could pay for stuff, the girl's gonna want you. It don't really matter what you look like. Wow. Yeah, uh, cause they, I thought that stat was crazy. They said eighty percent. They said uh, women aren't attracted to eighty percent of men. And I was like, okay. Um, attractive physically, right? They said they're not attracted to them. Yeah, they're yeah. not physically attracted to eighty yeah. percent of men in the world. Okay, wow, I didn't, didn't even know that. Yeah, that's a statistic. Okay. Yeah, that's what I, I seen. Um, why you think that is? I think that that's because it's all about material things now. Okay, I think because they like the same type of man and don't mind sharing them. And you know, fourteen percent of men are six feet and taller, and women preferably like taller men. Cause they so superficial. A lot of these women are boneheads, superficial for the most part. So that's what I think. Bonehead, they're just superficial. Yeah, yeah, they boneheads. I ain't even gonna argue. I ain't gonna argue with you because some of them are. I'm right. gonna take, take myself out of that bonehead though. Look, <laughs> I ain't a bonehead, <laughs> but some of y'all are. <laughs> right, right. Okay. What are, what sign are you compatible with? I know what sign I'm not compatible with. I do not like Pisces men. I'm a Scorpio. They they say I'm compatible, but I am not. I do not like Pisces men. Um, I am compatible with Capricorns. Okay. Capricorns okay. is feminine. Um, I'm not really sure why I'm compatible with Capricorns. I think we have a lot of the same um, likes and dislikes. I feel like we. I don't know. We're a little compatible though. Okay. Okay. What's what your sign you? that you compatible with? I don't know. I don't really get into Zodiac. I'm a Gemini. You know, oh, they say yeah. I'm crazy. Gemini crazy. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, you know how it is. Uh, what advice would you give someone in their 20s? Oh. Um, let's All right. So, don't be, don't be in a rush to get in a relationship, which they're not anyways now. But... I, I feel like I was always in a rush to be married and get in a relationship and not focus so much on my, um, what do I want to do with my life? Like hobbies. Like if I was good at doing hair, I should have catered to that. And by now I can have my own salon. Like just try to focus on yourself and, and doing business stuff versus relationships. Okay. Okay. Fake, fake. Okay, I seen this quote. They said, "You know, a girl is finally done with your shit when when she's fed up for real. You know when you know when she stops when she stops can't when she stops arguing about certain things when she stops reaching out to complain about something because now in my mind it's like I don't even care enough to express my feelings to you to tell you that it bothered me because at this point it's like I'm good on it. Like you can keep that. I'm gonna move along." Describe your ex in one word. Sorry. Sorry. Like the Beyonce song, Sorry? That is the truth, though. That is how I would describe them. 
How bad do you procrastinate? Bad. And it works for me. I work well mm. under pressure. Can a can a man make you a millionaire? Can a man make me a millionaire? I mean, I'm sure anybody could make me a millionaire. I mean, I don't really know how to answer that. Do you mean a man I'm in a relationship with? Or because you know I have FMD logistics and I can have a trucker who's a man who helps put that money in my pocket. So what are we talking about? Okay. I'm just saying you can have it <laughs> to make you a millionaire. Oh, uh, Yeah. I do. I think, yeah, I think so. I think I could have a life partner that would add value to me, and that's what I would want. That's not the only reason, but who wouldn't want that? Is flirting cheating? So, so, I have mixed feelings about that because it's like, what's the definition of flirting, right? Because some people just have naturally flirty personalities. It could be like they're still flirt. They're talking to a woman and don't like women, but they still have that flirty you know, that, that flirty personality. Right. So it's like, if I know you and I know it, it's no harm to it, then yeah. But if you flirting heavy and you're trying to get somewhere with that person, then that's a problem. I don't know if I would consider it cheating, but it's definitely an issue. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh -huh. What is one thing that makes any man more attractive? Say it again. What is one thing that makes any man more attractive? Any man more yeah. attractive? So what's one uh, thing that goals. Makes any man or oh, goals? Okay. Goals, setting goals and achieving them. Facts, facts. Because that will turn, turn me off quick. If I see you're not a go getter and I and I gotta help push you and you're not really pushing yourself, that's a turn off. I'm all set. Right, right, right. Trying to upgrade them like Beyonce, ain't it? Upgrade. It's too much work. Uh, what's, <laughs> what, what's the biggest lie in human history? What's the biggest what? Biggest lie in human history. Black men don't, don't cheat. <laughs> Black men don't cheat. You know it. <laughs> I don't know who came up with that shit. Charlamagne came the guy up with that shit. He's a fool. He's a damn fool. Damn fool, man. That's a damn yeah. lie. Shit, motherfucker. You motherfucker cheat. It ain't just black men, everybody doing it. It's Not everybody. everybody. A lot of people for you to say it. black men don't cheat was like, ha. <laughs> I don't know. He made a song like that. He promoting a damn song, him and Lil Duval. Yep. Yeah, damn little, song. Dude, that is a little Duvault song. I'm done. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, they say when men cheating, when a man cheat, he can still love his woman. And when a woman cheating, they won't love their man anymore. True or false? So, when a woman cheats, they won't love their man no more? Yeah, but when a man cheat, he can still love his woman. Why is that you think? Yeah, because I think that men and women are designed differently, right? So men are able to have sex without having any type of feeling like that towards the woman. Like men are just able to do that. Women, some women, don't get me wrong, some women can have sex without any feeling. But for the most part, women are emotional creatures. So we have some type of attachment. Like, so if, so if I was to cheat, on on my man he's gonna look at me and be like oh so you must have really cared for that dude you must have really liked that, that dude for you to sleep around and cheat but if the if my man's cheating he probably just wanted some some ass it's I'm not some r&b <laughs> thug baby trying Did to that get make some ass sense? Baby. <laughs> oh man okay what's the weirdest name you ever save a contact with Ooh. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think because I got a few. <laughs> um, too many kids. How many kids he had? When I put too many, he's got to be five and up. Damn. Too many kids. He must be, a, <laughs> he must be putting on you. It probably didn't even get, get that far. Oh, wow. Uh. <laughs> if you tell me that six kids, we ain't even getting there. About, <laughs> about a dozen. Yeah, I'm on, on set. We don't need football teams. God, and damn. I need to further You got a whole uh -uh. starting five and somebody to come off the bench. And they then it's like, the how many different baby mamas is that? Y'all can right? go to the park. They can go to the park and play half court basketball. Right, right. They got a football team, basketball teams out here. I don't, I'm on set. Okay. Name something that is scary at 3 a.m. but normal at 3 p.m. Name something that's what at 3 a.m.? Something that is scary at 3 a.m. but normal at 3 p.m. 3, 3 in the morning and what's normal 
What's up, scary? At three in the morning, but normally at three in the afternoon. I don't know. You got me stumped. What was yours be? Shit, somebody got them calling you out the motherfucking blue and needed to talk. Better talk to God. Yeah, if they come, and you right in, it would make me nervous if they called me at three a.m. Like, what's the emergency? I'd have thought somebody died. That's. Hey, who who told these ladies that good sex can keep a man? It can't. Yeah, who told the ladies that good sex can keep a man? I don't know who told the ladies that. Was it Steve Harvey? <laughs> that it was. You believe that bullshit? He be saying, "Think like a man, act like a woman." That don't yeah. even make sense. You need to think like a woman and act like a woman. Yeah, act like a man, think like. Yeah. Do you believe? Act like a woman, think like a man. Yeah. Do you believe in? Anything Steve Harvey says? Uh, no, no, I don't really like Steve Harvey. All I see is the potato head now, like Cat Williams said. Like, <laughs> why, why do you think so many, so many women believe what he's saying? Like, he's speaking garbage. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, because they must have somewhere in their mind and their thought process uh, thought of that before he said it, and then when he said it, they was like, "Yeah, he got I, it." <laughs> I knew that made no sense years ago. I'm like, how you gonna act like one thing like a man? What the yeah, hell? But that's the problem with society, right? The women they want to. Well, if a man cheats, it's fine. But if we cheat, it's not fine. Yeah, it's not fine. If a man could have 30 body count, a woman had 30 body counts is a problem. Yeah, it is a problem. Men are different than women. Why would you as a woman want to want to accept all that into your body? We When we have sex, different things happen than what happens with men. So why would we even want to accept all that? That's just too much. Like That don't make no you sense. You'd rather have a key that open any lock or a door that can have a certain, a certain key to open that lock? Say it again. Would you rather have a master key that can open any door or a key that have a certain lock to open that door? To anyone. What can you give a girl as a Valentine's Day gift apart from money? Uh, What do you mean? A whole bunch of stuff. You can cook her dinner. You can set the whole crib up. You can print some pictures out with some balloons. Hang them bitches from the ceiling. We all got Pinterest. I've seen it. Okay, okay. Good, good sex or peace of mind. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. I think they do want a peace of mind. They want a piece of ass to go with it. <laughs> uh, would you try? <laughs> you could. I feel like you could make sex good though. I feel like I could always train somebody to have better sex. Like, <laughs> I like I can't train you to give me a peace of mind. Like that's just toxic. Uh huh. Do you, Do you feel like a gay couple should be able to adopt kids? I don't like this, this question. <laughs> you don't want to answer that question? No, my, no. <laughs> I don't. That's too much uh, drama. People are going to be trying to chop my head off. Nah, this is, this is, I, this I is, will tell you that I think I, I think that everybody's entitled to do whatever they want, right? Because we're in 2024 now and everybody's doing things that you would have never thought of. So why not? If your child came out as gay, what would you do? Okay, so unfortunately, I was raised a certain way. I was raised by all Jamaicans, so like Batiman was not good. So my initial reaction would be, you know, uh, I don't really like that. I would be uncomfortable, but I would never disown my child. So it wouldn't matter. I would just have to accept it. It is what it is. Why drag queens never want to read old people in old homes or, or like help old people in the soup kitchen or help drag queens? Yeah. But they want to read the kids um, and help so kids. So I didn't, I didn't, I did not know that they don't help people in the soup kitchen. But my, I mean, my initial reaction would be because old people ain't fucking with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Facts, facts. What's your opinion about marriage? I don't know. What do you mean? What's my opinion? I would love to be married and find my life partner. And I think that anybody else should be able to do the same. But if they're not into marriage, that's fine too. But I, I definitely would love to, I think that it will, it increases certain things in your, in your life. Like I feel like if I find my life partner, I'll be able to unlock certain levels to my life that I would have never known about if I didn't. You want to be a bride or you just want to be a wife? A bride or a wife. Yeah. I would like to be a wife. Mm. 
Okay. <laughs> if women are always right, why do they all? Why do they keep picking the wrong men? Because they're not always right. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> society says they believe all women. You got to believe all women. Who society said that? I never. I missed that. Society said that. You can't. In many, many cases, you can't just listen to every per like people, like people, women or men. People are. People are not all there. People do not know everything. People are not. Everybody's living life and don't know why we're here, how we got here, what's going on. So what the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. What, uh, what's your deal breaker in, the, in a friendship? What is what's my what? What's your deal breaker in a friendship? Um, um, so unfortunately, I can't be friends with women who um, are not good mothers. Women that don't have have custody of their kids um are just terrible mothers and i can just see that i try to stay away from those because if i can't if your kid can't trust you bitch i can't trust you facts facts trust do you trust the government absolutely not why don't you um there's so many reasons i'm not trying to have them come to my house <laughs> what kind of is that <laughs> Uh, they say, you know why you don't trust the government? Shit. Right, right. They say women will overlook the terrible finances of a broke 20 year old man if he's hot and shows ambition. However, women do not have patience for a broke 45 year old man, regardless of his ambitious plan. Men must create value, no exceptions. True or false? Uh, uh, I have mixed feelings about that. Cause some of the, Why do you do? that is true, and some of it is like, dang, that's it's a little harsh. What, what are you feeling mixy about? What are you feeling? Because uh, I, because I'm because sure. really, I'm very big on ambition myself, but I also know that at 45 or 50 or something, it's like if you weren't showing the ambition that whole time, it's like I guess you can always change as a person, but that kind of shows something about your character that it took you all this time, like to figure it out. Like I don't, I don't know. I'm like mixed with that okay well i mean you gotta look at it like a man a woman 45 ain't gonna look at no broke 45 year old man and be patient with him but a good a guy who you think is 20 years old in his prime 20 or 25 or whatever the case would be she might be, be a patient. little more patient and, yeah and she want to do whatever because he's in he's, he's in, his in his prime of his life he <laughs> look good he's in decent shape and you know you like the way the sex and all that is so yeah. she's gonna be able to tolerate whatever though okay i can understand where you're coming from with that you might have got, uh, got me swayed on that. <laughs> basically, that's what the point is, though. With women to deal with that guy right there. And all of the, yeah, that's what I think for the most part. Okay. Uh, what's your opinion on friendships? I mean, what's your opinion um, on friends? I, I think that I think that friends is a great thing to have, but I also think that there are some people in the world who are just not meant to have friends, and it's all right. Facts, facts, facts. Real friends. Real friends. Like, I had friends from when I was, like, 8, 12. Anything after that is, like, I don't know if I would consider them my real, 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 real close friends. But, you know, I can go out with them. I can tolerate them. Stuff like that. Right. Do, you, do you believe, uh, what's, what's the difference between associates and friends? I think that, I think like, like for me, I feel like I need to go through something with somebody to really call them my friend, like to really know that you would be my friend, whether it's something little like you have my back or I have your back real quick over something little, like just a little gesture to let me know that, all right, this is my friend versus me, like me and you, we're associates. Like I just met you. I don't really know too much about you, but I know enough to talk to you and we're cool. That's associates. Fair. Okay. Do you believe co-workers can be friends? I do believe co-workers could be friends. Some of my closest friends started off at co-workers. Okay. What's your biggest regret? My biggest re regret? That's really hard for me because I don't really regret much. Even being in that relationship for nine years and having to leave it, I don't really regret anything in it. Because I feel like it helped shape and mold me into what I am now. So I don't really have too many. I don't really have any regrets. There's nothing I could say that, fuck it. I would have rather, like, I'm happy with the way it went. Because I'm happy with where I ended up. 
Okay, okay. What's the worst thing a woman? I mean, what's the worst thing a man ever did to you on the first date? Okay, so I had this. This is embarrassing. I had this guy um, take me on this date, and he had asked me before we had got out the car. You know, I'm not sure how this dating thing works. Um, does the man pay? Does the woman pay? Like, how is this gonna work? You know, and I'm already like, huh? Because for me, it's like it's not even about woman or man. You asked me to come out. So if I ask my homegirl, hey, I'm trying to go come to the to the Cheesecake Factory with me, I'm I'm going to pay for her because I chose the place. She might not have Cheesecake Factory money. Like, why would I just, you know what I'm saying? So you asked me to come out, so I'm expecting you to pay. So, and I explained that to him. He's like, all right, cool. So we go into the restaurant and, you know, he started ordering stuff that was real cheap. So I'm like, okay, maybe I should be doing that too. So I started ordering little stuff and then I was ready to go. So I kept saying, you know, I got to go. I got to go. Oh, let's just go to the movies real quick across the way. And he had mentioned, oh, I miss getting going to the movies, being able to sneak in the movies. So I kind of let it roll off like whatever. So we get to the movies and we're picking a movie. But all of a sudden we end up going to the line and he whispers something in the guy's ear. We're just in the movies now. Now we're going into every single movie theater and catching two minutes of the end of every movie. What in the hell is going on? Then we go to leave, then we go to leave and we're in a parking lot and he starts walking the whole opposite way away from me. And I'm walking to the car, it's freezing and it's dark. What's going on? I get to the car, he's not at the car. He's calling me like, where'd you go? I'm like, you lost all your brownie points. Get to the car now, I'm cold. Like, what are you doing? Oh, I thought the car was parked somewhere else. Like that whole date was terrible, like trash. Like, why are we going into the end of every movie? Like, I'm confused. This is embarrassing. Yeah. Like, well, How old y'all was? Oh, how this old? Recently? This is like two years ago when I first started yeah, dating. Damn. <laughs> he was Holy. older than me. He was like 36, 37. Holy. It was Holy. embarrassing for me. Like, well, it damn. turned me off from the dating. I was like, what the hell just happened? You know what I'm saying? Let like, me guess what? you met him online dating? You met him on Tinder? No, no, no. I met him on, I, I forget. It might have been just regular around the way, social media. I'm not even sure. I don't even Fact. remember. Oh man! Okay. But that was terrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, if your significant other has a birthday that's close around the time of holiday, time of a holiday such as Christmas or Valentine's Day, etc., do they get two gifts or do they just get one or the other? So it depends. So I would like to give two gifts, but if they want to do something, you know, real big, like throw a whole huge party or go on vacation or something that might need to be wrapped in one or go on vacation and then you get a little gift or something okay okay what what's considered cheating to you um so cheating to me would be like physical like doing physical stuff and emotional stuff like having an emotional attachment to somebody else is cheating to me mm -hmm. so like you could not meet that girl your whole life but you could talk to her every day and and that's cheating to me you talking to her every day you guys say i love you guys like you know what i'm saying that's cheating like okay okay thanks 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 okay cool 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 cheating mm, mm. you think i think uh this is a quote I see. They said, men lie and say, yeah, Tony House. Women lie and say it's your baby. You think that's true or false? That's true. <laughs> Holy. I don't even got kids, but I know girls that do that. Oh, wow. So you know women that lie and say that was a man baby when it really wasn't? That was their man's baby and it really wasn't? like That was another man's people. baby and it wasn't their baby? And they lied to the child as well? You think the women should go to jail for that? <laughs> I mean, my thing is, there's DNA tests, so I don't understand why anybody's going to jail. Like, he could just get a DNA test, like he should, like he should have. Well, don't don't you think the woman should be held accountable for lying? I think a woman for fraud, should be scam. Held. Yes, absolutely. But do men go to jail for fraud and scamming? Yes, they do. They do like the ass up. No, for fraud and scamming money, but I'm talking about lying, like lying to a woman. Yeah, I mean. I think the women no. should be. I think they need to pay them back. You got some guys paying eight years of child support, ain't even their yeah. kids. 
Yeah, I have met somebody one time and, and he had been paying, he had been like in the child's life for two years and then found out it wasn't his kid. That's very devastating. Oh, oh man, that's awful. Yeah. Okay, okay. When a man is busy putting on a condom, what are you doing? Watching to make sure condoms getting put on. <laughs> Why does today's relationship not last for long? Because nobody values anybody. Everybody's just here for the moment. Everybody knows how to sit still for 10 second videos and nothing more. Okay. Okay. Can, can you agree that most dirty minded people are gifted with innocent faces? Yeah, I can agree. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm trying to find an easy one for you. I got a couple more. We'll let you go. Uh, what are things you cannot do for your boyfriend as long as you are not yet married to him? Things I cannot do for my boyfriend until we're married. So, like, this is this isn't a good question for me because <laughs> that'd be my problem. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be doing too much and then giving up the milk and ain't even bought the cow. Like, what? Mm. <laughs> That's not a good question for me. <laughs> yeah, okay. You, you giving it all. You doing everything. Because I'm such a good, I'm such a good hearted, you know, I just, I can't help it. Don't, don't you think uh, you should dial it back a little bit, you know? I, I definitely, I definitely do think that. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I think if you're paying somebody bills or Paying a mortgage. Yeah, or, I mean, I guess when you point things out like that, yeah. But it, but then it's like if even my boyfriend, like I was with for nine years, we went through an issue where two years he got hurt at work, he couldn't work. I was holding it down. He wasn't my husband. He ain't married. I mean, we got engaged after like eight years of us being together. We got engaged. Damn, I would have got married to, to yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's the situation. Not I would have got married to that woman. Not everybody's smart. <laughs> I would have married a woman. Hell, me because I got her to pay all my bills and pay her bills too. Right. Shit. But but don't get me wrong. When he had his money, he was holding it down. So it's like, but we weren't married. So. Oh, man. I mean, uh, it just 